Hi guys, we're going to switch on Paul speaking and we're continuing our series and our look at 51 worldwide games on the Nintendo Switch, which came out on Friday the 6th of June. Really great game. Please check out my overview video if you've not seen that yet. But uh, in the second of these videos, we're going to be having a look at darts. Now, darts is traditionally a game that's never really translated very well to video games, just due to how tactile the controls are in real life. You need to sort of feel the weight of the dart and you know the the motion of throwing. But I've been absolutely bowled over to mix my metaphors with uh, with darts in this game. It just works superbly. I've been using motion controls. You can use touch controls if you want to. But the motion controls work so well. It's an absolute joy to play. So we've got a game going here, 301. Now you take a single joy con as you can see on the picture there and hold down one of any of the buttons on the face of the Joy-Con. And I'm going to try and do this without hitting my microphone, if I can. Actually, let me try and grab it from over here. There you go. Um, and you just do a throwing motion, but it's just very, very accurate. As he says, as he throws too fast. Uh, I'm trying not to hit my microphone, so I'm not, I'm kind of lopsided a little bit, but uh, there you go, there's a bullseye. But once you get your once you get used to the motion controls and you get your iron, it just plays so well. And as I say, I played this online with uh, one of my uh, buddies from Discord, and it and it worked seamlessly. He was actually using touch controls while I was using the motion controls. And you see here now, once you get your practice in. Once you get your eye in, it works really well. Now, I'm actually playing this sitting down. I have played some games standing up as if you stand at an hockey, but the actual controls work relative to how you grip the dart. So, for example, if you're sitting down and then take the grip of your dart, wherever you move your hand will move your hand on the screen. So, you don't have to be directly looking at the board or standing in front of it. You can see here I'm hit, hitting 20s now. With uh, pretty decent accuracy as he hits a five. So 101 left. You can play 301, 501. Then there's something called uh, sequential numbers or something, which I'm guessing is like round the clock. Oh, felt like that was heading towards the treble. That was close as well. So I've got 41 left. I wasn't really paying attention to my numbers. I should have been checking out there. But yeah, it just feels so good. Honestly, the 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 accuracy of the controller is really, really nice. And anytime there, I had a bad grip there. So you can just let go of the, any of the face buttons and re-grip again to get sort of your comfort back if you're not. I'm just trying to get a decent amount of comfort. Oh, I'm still not looking at my board, am I? What have I got left? 21. Not ideal. To be honest, the lower numbers are quite hard to hit. So like, oh, like the uh, anything from sort of seven to two is particularly hard to hit. But I'm sure with some practice it will come. Let's focus on what I'm doing. Let's try for uh, let's see if we can get a six. And then we need double. Uh, oh no, that didn't work out either, did it? I'm having a nightmare with my maths. Right, double seven for the win. Get my microphone called out of the way. Oh, missed the board. The AI seems to be a bit sporadic in there throwing. Right, come on, double seven. Get in right in the corner. So there you go. There's my double checkout. Don't know what level AI that was. I think that might have been normal level. So here's unlocked a little bit of history. Got a medal, and we've been moved up to hard. So let's have one more game of 301. See if we can uh, get our aiming in a bit better. 
me to throw first. Oh, that was close to being a 20. Come on. So for 45. And this is against the hard AI, so I'm expecting a better game this time. And that may well be shown by the fact they've just thrown a pretty decent 60. Oh, I needed a bit more power in that one. 60 for me. Couple of out of ring bullseyes for the AI. I really think that um, online mode is where this is going to really shine. Keep an eye on my score as well, but just another 20 will do. Yeah, if uh, playing online against people of similar skill, I think, I mean, when I was playing uh, online, the games were really close and often just came down to, uh, to both of us needing doubles. And 10 left. AI's got 121, but I say they seem to be throwing fairly sporadically. I'm not sure they've actually got a plan to aim for. Oh, that wasn't a good throw, is it? Right, let's see if we can go, come down low. Oh, too low. What I find a little tip when you want to hit the low numbers is when you're grabbing your dart hold your hand quite high in the air then hold down the face button and then when you pull your hand naturally down to like a normal dart level it will move your on-screen hand down to those lower numbers so um, there's a little tip it's just then a matter of working out how much power you need right there we go there's the 19 so it's 70 left What do we need? Something even. Oh, not throw it off the board. Oh, and a great finish by the AI. Finish on the bullseye. So there you go. Perfect shot. Just wish that there was more um, sort of stats, like a leaderboard of like your best scores and stuff. That would be really nice. But you can see it's just going to keep track of your personal best of count up. I'm not sure what count up is. Should we have a look what that is? Just before we finish the video, let's see what this is all about. I wonder if it's just how much you can score with eight darts or, you know, eight, eight throws. shot. Shame I threw that one off the board. AI is loving peppering those bullseyes. I'm not sure why that is. Not too bad. Yeah, I think as our scores are adding up. So that's quite a decent mode then. So you just got eight rounds to see who can score the highest number. That's quite cool as well. A bit like bowling. Oh, getting all around the uh, trouble 20s. Okay. Come on. Oh. Okay, so 56 in front. 
We both got two throws left. Oh no, it went too high. My grip was too high then. No, that's bad. 21. Take that. Yeah, you just got to be careful when you um, grab the the dart, just to make sure that your hand isn't too low either. Because then, when you move your hand up to a natural dart position, that's when your hand will really raise up on the screen. So, last throw. Here we go. Let's get another better grip of that. I prefer a slightly lower grip. It's not really helped, is it? Oh, and a 60 to finish on. So, unless he, <laughs> he throws all his darts off the board, we're probably going to lose this one. But there you go. That was count up. I hadn't played that mode before, but uh, I like that. So, it's just who can get the most. As I say, it's a bit like bowling there. You can see almost eight frames of darts. Who can score the highest? And uh, I guess that's going to record my best score in count up. Personal best, 532. So there you go. That is a quick look at darts on 51 Worldwide Classics. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Keep your eye out for more in this series. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.